When you open Nature Maestro, you'll see the home page with some signposts. There are a number of places you can go from here. The main focus of Nature Maestro, though, is the soundscape. So I'll tap on Explore to show you the basic navigation. In Explore, you'll hear the ambient sounds of the rainforest. To the right is a menu of animals that you can view by scrolling up and down. Each animal or weather event has its own unique sound. Touch and slide anything you want into the scene. So I think I'll place a black-headed saltator. A morpho butterfly. And a howler monkey into my soundscape. I'll also add a mealy parrot. When I place the animal, it makes a sound. I can also tap once at any time to hear the sound. Tap twice to hear audio facts about that animal and sometimes a story about how I recorded the animal. The howler monkey is diurnal, which means it's active during the day each fact audio is 30 to 60 seconds long. To stop the fact audio, I'll tap on another animal once. Tap three times to flip the animal to face a different direction. Tap four times to remove the animal from the soundscape. I think I'll remove the saltator. Goodbye. Pinch the animal to make it smaller and quieter. Zoom the animal to make it larger and louder. You can rotate the animals and I am putting this monkey in a tree upside down. If you're wearing headphones, you'll hear Nature Maestro in stereo. Animals placed to the left will sound in your left ear and animals placed to the right in your right ear. Remove all animals by gently shaking the iPad. At any time you can press the info button in the lower right corner which will display hotspots that trigger audio help. The hotspots will tell you what each button does. In the lower left corner is the Dennis button. Tap on that button for more help. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create, arrange, record, and share your soundscape.